Well, I live in quite a modest three-bedroom semi-detached house, I suppose, in suburbia. Uh, yes, quite comfortable. Uh, I rent it. I don't know if you knew that. I actually rent this house and everything in it. You see, I belong to a generation where if I wanted to buy my own house, the deposit would be ridiculous, uh, let alone the mortgage payments every month. So we're quite happy, you know, sat here... Uh, dreaming of our dream home I suppose but uh, I wonder what would happen if the banks or anything made a mistake and accidentally refunded me more money than they were intending what would I do then <laughs> well have I got a story to tell you <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel for a Friday morning. Hope you're doing all right. I'm not too bad, not too bad. I'll tell you, I read stories like this and I wonder how people are going to get away with it. Uh, I really do. You get caught out in the end. You really, you know, have a look at this house, right? Dream house in anybody's day and age, really. $1.35 million this place costs. It's got 20,000 bathrooms, 10 hundred bedrooms, and a partridge in a pear tree. You name it, you've got it, and it's out of reach for an awful lot of people. Well, there's a person, uh, an individual, uh, who was dealing in cryptocurrency, and they were going to get a $100 refund on their cryptocurrency from a company called Crypto dot com they're very uh very well known in the cryptocurrency arena i mean i dabble a little bit myself not massively just more out of curiosity to see what it did anyway i digress this hundred dollar refund there was a little bit of a problem you see they put uh the account number that the refund was supposed to go to in the amount column rather than the uh you see, and what she ended up with was over ten million dollars refunded, not a hundred, ten million dollars. Now this problem wasn't uh, discovered for about seven months afterwards when they did an internal audit and thought, "Oh fuck, where's our money gone?" And they traced it to where it was. But by this time, uh, this individual uh, had already moved all the account, all the money to different accounts. They'd moved a bit to their daughter. They'd bought this home and, uh, you, you know, shove, shoveled the money about here, there and everywhere. Crypto.com tried to get the money back and issue freeze orders on all of the assets, but to no avail. Uh, so it all ended up in court. The courts were satisfied that there was evidence of deception going on and this money had to be paid back. They ordered it to be paid back with interest and also ordered the sale of the house. Now, what's more, this person and also their legal representation never showed up in court either. So it's a bit of an admission of guilt, really, if you're not going to be there to defend yourself, don't you think? But the moral of the story is, if you try this, you're going to get found out. And uh, the book will be thrown at you when you do. But uh, all besides, you know, would this mistake have been made in a high street bank? Uh, is it something to do with cryptocurrency we need to be aware of? But yeah, uh, 9,900,000 and 90, that's a bit of a, a bit of a blunder, a bit of a mistake, don't you think? Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. And I'm going to go. I'll see you live at nine o'clock tonight. Do blue.